An update now to a story Newsline brought you last month. A federal judge on Thursday denied a request by New York's Nassau County, that's right outside of New York City, to let it enforce new restrictions on transgender athletes at county sports venues without facing legal action by who else? The state's attorney general, Tish James, for alleged violations of anti-discrimination laws when all they're trying to do is simply protect girls and women's sports. Well, let's welcome in our guests, host of the Ike Wingate Show, Mr. Ike Wingate himself. Also with us, our very own Newsmax host, John Burnett on N2 there. You got your morning show, Monday through Friday on N2. What's the name of it again? I should know this. First, John. First edition is first, going quite well. First thank you. edition, absolutely. First edition, I see you on with Betsy McCoy and Krisha. Thank you so much for joining us. Let's start off with you first. What do you think about Tish James trying to go after, <sighs> you know, the Nassau County executive for simply trying to protect girls' sports? I'm so glad that Bruce Blakeman actually stepped forward and said, look, I'm going to put an end to it in, in Nassau County. The other counties in New York, I don't know what you're doing, but in terms of this one, he's stepping forward. Why? Because he heard the voices of the single moms who have lovely daughters who are playing soccer, basketball, and so many other sports. And he's saying that, you know what? This wokeness, this DEI stuff is not coming to his backyard, taking opportunities away from young girls. So I applaud him. And look, the, the Tish James, the New York Attorney General, she's going after, you know, cows. She's going after fur. She's going after all this woke stuff. Look, let's put an end to it. Him. Well, she's campaigning. That's what our previous guest uh, accurately uh, said about her. And, you know, Ike, we are, we're also hearing a new study came out regarding transgender kids. Most of them, they outgrow it. So this obsession with giving our kids uh, hormones to mutilate their body parts, we know that like a lot of things that we do as children, we outgrow them. So why, why this obsession do you believe by, by Democrats to, to push this trans agenda? Well, the very essence of the trans agenda is to divide and push people against one another. And I find it, you know, completely hypocritical that we, you know, enforce different rules as it relates to minors and children. We're supposed to protect them. And, you know, one day a kid might say that they're a truck or a car, uh, but yet we're supposed to believe them when when they're able to say that you know they're not a boy anymore or not a girl anymore it's absolutely absurd i believe at the very root of it it is to break down the uh, family you know the the structure of the nuclear family and without strong families we have a weak country True. Absolutely. And, and we know that they have these Marxist beliefs, right? And especially BLM, they put it out there on their charter. Now, John, speaking of, you know, DEI, wokeness and diversity, let's talk about it. This, uh, this week, the University of Texas at Austin eliminated nearly 60 staff who once worked in these DEI roles in an effort to comply with the state's anti-DEI law. Uh, also this week, comedian and radio host uh, Charlemagne the God, he guest hosted The Daily Show on Wednesday night, and he offered a surprising take on, on this whole DEI, uh, calling them mostly garbage and ineffective. What do you think about that? You know, usually black people like Charlemagne call white people who, who demonize DEI as racist. But look, even he has drawn the same conclusion. Why? because it takes us backwards. It's not progressive. The thing is, is that when you look at many of these DEI programs, it tells white people to denounce their whiteness. I don't even know what that is. And then they, add, they have them either kissing other people's feet, washing their feet. This is madness. Let's just get back to loving each other and focusing on creating pathways of opportunity, not guaranteeing outcomes, but pathways to opportunities for all. This is America. 
So what do you think? Is that a big deal? You, if you remember, Ike, it was with Charlemagne the God, right, that Joe Biden announced you ain't black if you don't vote for Joe Biden. And now he's <laughs> criticizing the Biden administration's woke policies, DEI, and calling it basically racism in disguise so that white people can feel better for themselves. You know, he's, he's a very mm. prominent figure in the black community. Sure, Charlemagne is very entertaining, no doubt about it. I always question anyone who calls himself the God and who votes for Joe Biden based on simply Kamala Harris being on the ticket. Uh, but the reality is this liberal ideology has infiltrated business. Nice. I agree with Charlemagne that it is garbage, but not for the same reasons. It is a way to bend people to the will of this ideology. If you are straight, if you are white, if you are Christian, you're essentially unhirable. If anybody has gone through the process of trying to be hired right now, they steer you into this ideology and it's all based on outer appearance. This is the exact opposite of what Reverend King preached, which was you know, judge people on the content of their character. This is all about the outer appearance and it's com it is complete garbage. We do agree on that. Absolutely. Thank you guys so much for joining us. And again, John Burnett, first edition on N2 Monday through Friday. You don't want to miss it. Thank you. You got it. All right. We'll have an update on uh, the earthquake that rattled the New York City area earlier. The earthquake was centered in middle New Jersey and was felt all the way uh, 